In a world of on-demand and multi-platform support, customer service metrics allow companies to track the progress they are making. In addition, tracking your customer service metrics can be a great way to gauge the health of your company. Positive word of mouth can increase your brand's reach and encourage repeat purchases from happy customers. Read on to learn how to track customer satisfaction and success efficiently, so that your team can stay on top of everything customer service. Bonus! Download a free and easy-to-use template for calculating your monthly efforts in customer service. What are the metrics of customer service? Client satisfaction is also measured using customer service metrics. Customer feedback, such as surveys or polls of customers, is also used to measure client satisfaction. Only customers who have a good relationship with your brand will recommend you. Send a brief survey to your customers after an interaction with customer service or a purchase. You can ask them a simple question, how likely are you to endorse the brand? NPS is typically measured on a 1 to 10 scale, although some companies use a 5 point scale. Source, Shaw Mobile Survey Subtract Your Detractors, those that would not recommend your product, from your promoters. Remove those who are in the maybe category. Instead of asking if they would recommend you, ask them if they are satisfied with you. This is one of the most important customer service success metrics. To get the percentage, multiply by 100. CSAT equals number positive scores slash number replies. X100 Hootsuite inbox will automatically send CSAT surveys to customers after every customer service interaction. The results are then automatically pulled into Hootsuite analytics, allowing for easy reporting and analysis. Reduce response time and your workload. Manage all your messages stress-free with easy routing, saved replies, and friendly chatbots. But in this case, rather than asking how satisfied the customer is with the service, you instead ask how easy it was to get the service they needed. Source, TurboTax email survey. This will give you an idea of how well organized your customer service program really is. CES is a measure of the ease with which you can access support. The formula to calculate CES is similar to that for CSAT. It's just the survey question that addresses a different facet of customer satisfaction. To calculate CES, you divide the number positive responses on your CES questionnaire by the total number. To get the percentage, multiply by 100. CES equals number positive scores slash number replies x104. Analyzing which categories have the highest volume of tickets can help you determine where your customers are putting the most effort. If so, you may need to review your communication strategies, help articles, or policies. Managers must also be aware of the pressures their support staff is under so that they can offer assistance before burnout occurs. How can you calculate the volume of tickets? Record the number of tickets you receive on a regular basis, daily, weekly, or monthly. To visualize the results, plot them on a line chart, like in our template for a customer service report, which you can find here. Try to identify the possible causes of spikes. Thanks for watching. Please give us a like and subscribe.
Click on the link below to visit our website for more detailed information.